Thor News presents Business Insider is obsessed with Kanye West. I guess this is a marriage made in modern, unregulated, and unruly capitalism. Music is a very powerful force, more powerful than humans really understand. The media is a very powerful thing. Very, very powerful. I mean, they literally pump countless hours of media, whether it be music, talk radio, internet, television, cable. Like you go to a restaurant and it's probably going to have like 10 flat screen TVs on the wall filling your head with commercials and garbage the whole time. So you got to be real wary of the media. And it is a very powerful tool that very powerful people can use to further their own agenda. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I recommend you watch Citizen Kane and Read the fountainhead. So, point of this one is, I think economics is a subject that affects every single human being on the planet. So, it's a good one to always keep track of. And what I would kind of call the U.S. weekly version of business and economics is Business Insider. Well, yeah, we've always known that Business Insider is very advertising and click-driven. Like, they like to say the stuff that drives people there to argue or disagree. Like, for example, Bitcoin's more valuable than gold, or Barack Obama's doing a great job, or we all owe Ben Bernanke our lives because he saved us from the Great Depression. So, you know, it's a good counterbalance. You got zero hedge on one end, Business Insider on the other. Who knows? Maybe they're connected to the same beast, but this I found fascinating. What I'm telling you is, on the front page, Hey, if you scroll down on Business Insider, like eight of the top stories are about Kanye West. Like, honestly, I can't get Bloomberg to give me 30 seconds on the TV because I'm under the impression they don't think common ice is businessy enough. But Business Insider is going to do eight stories on Kanye West. I don't necessarily see this whole connection to business. I mean, I do, but not eight stories worth. I mean, he's not Bernanke. He's not, you know, Treasury bond yields. He's not the Greek crisis, which will never end. And he's definitely not World War III. So I don't understand their obsession with Kanye West. And they seem to take both sides of it. Like, he's a genius. He's horrible. Trendsetter is not a trendsetter. Now they're hedging their bets by saying both sides of the story, which I guess is fine. But the overall question is, why is something that is supposed to be about business spending so much time and effort telling you about Kanye West? Well, maybe it's because they don't really want you thinking about business. They don't really want you thinking about economics. They don't really want you wondering if debt really is money. They don't want to ask questions like, hey, how come nobody got arrested from the 2008 financial crisis? Or, hey, how come the guys who almost brought the world to financial standstill on cataclysmic levels. We've given them trillions of dollars for free at 0% interest over the last five years. They went up and say, hey, is Kanye, does Kanye West like fish stick? Well, I'd imagine he does. Fish sticks are good with tartar sauce. Anywho, he's a crazy task, people. Daddy always used to say, trust nobody, trust no one. So, as media consolidates, it's very telling what they use their hammer for. And you gotta wonder about, like, you know, and this only adds more validity to the, uh, that the powers that be behind the scene are using Jay-Z, Kanye West, Kim Kardashian, and Beyonce pretty much distract. But, why do they have five, six, seven, eight stories on Business Insider about Kanye West? Is he worthy of 40% of all their crap on the front page? I'd say no, and I guess yes. Yes, maybe he properly represents the animal spirit of the Federal Reserve free <laughs> markets. I gotta say, you know, with the Jay-Z, Beyonce, Kanye West, Kim Kardashian, total media takeover, it only adds more validity to all the Illuminati talk. They're total Rockefeller bitches.